Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, we're just going to go through the Elysian Slate. Uh, the reason that I've decided to go through the Elysian Slate now um, is because I do have it up to Legendary. Um, so, what does that mean? It just means that the majority of the passive abilities have been unlocked um, by just leveling up the slate uh, there is one more level to go which gets it up to uh, mythic i believe um to go all the way up yep so as you can see mythic but let's just have a review of the uh, different uh, abilities uh, that the elysian slate does carry um, it is a very important factor when it comes to uh, completing the hell difficulty um, so i would suggest that uh, everybody uh, level up the elysians and astral slates uh, in the first instance uh, and you'll be able to get through the um, the hell difficulty if your units are um, of high enough quality so the first uh, slate that we get is Crude. Uh, mystical Power lasts for one round. Mystic Fountain increases the effect of uh, Mystical Power by 5% per level. I think what might be better um, is if we go into our units here. So we go into Synergy Activation and we have a look at the Mythical Slate. So let's jump into uh, this here. So if we click on here, we can have a look. Um, so the, the primary function for the Elysian Slate um, is uh, a mystical fountain appears in the middle position of the back line uh, at the start of each round the mystical fountain applies the mystical power effect to the hero in its position for three rounds and the mystical fountain levels up as the allies team energy increases every 50 energy um, in energy increases uh, the mystical fountains level by one uh, the mystic fountain uh, enhances the uh, effect of the mystical power by 60% and caps at level 10 so um, effectively you need to get units to switch in and out quite consistently of that fountain and there are certain units which do that better than others uh, the mystical power increases heroes attack defense and max HP by 100% uh, so a very powerful effect indeed and additionally restores 20% HP to the hero with the mystical power so when you do swap you do gain that life back as well a uh, very powerful effect um, with a certain particular unit which I will show off in a little bit here um, so if we have four uh, Elysians and it's not overridden by uh, the uh, other synergy what i mean by that is if you have say uh, four avengers um, and you have five elysians the elysians will kick in or the elysian synergy will kick in whereas if you have four elysians uh, and you have five avengers you will uh, have the avengers synergy kick in as well so something to take into consideration uh, when team building so if you have four um, they gain three energy every time they use an active skill uh, and increases the attack defense a max HP of the allied hero uh, with the mystical power by 10% uh, and then uh, it's 10 energy each time they use an active skill um, so you just need to use five active skills to gain a level uh, up to a max level of 10 uh, as stated previously um, and the uh, increase of attack defense and max HP of the allied hero uh, is increased to 20% if you do have five of them on the team which I would highly recommend so let's jump back into uh, the synergy slate here uh, we'll jump into the upgraded preview so we'll scroll down have a look so mystical fact lasts for one round uh, uh, Mystic Fountain increases the mystical power by 5% per level. As you can see, we've leveled up. So we go to Common, it lasts for one round and is 10% per level. If we go to uh, Uncommon 2, it lasts for two rounds. Uh, an effect uh, of mystical power by 20% uh, and additionally restores 10% HP. So as we've just discussed previously uh, on the actual units themselves. Uh, then we get up to Rare, it lasts for two rounds. Uh, and then each uh, level of Mystic Fountain enhances the effect by 30% uh, and 10% uh, of HP is restored. And then we get it up to Epic, it lasts for 3 rounds, uh, effective Mystical Power by 40% and additionally 20% HP. Uh, and finally we get it up to Legendary which is where I'm up to at the moment with it. Uh, mystical Power lasts for 3 rounds, uh, Mystical Fountain increases the effective power by 50% uh, and additionally restores 20% HP. 
the final round mystical power lasts for 99 rounds now that is really important that um mystical power because it can stack as we've mentioned previously uh, up to that level 10 uh, increased by 60 percent per level so it's a, an effective 600 percent um to uh, the uh, attack defense and hp uh, and additionally restores 50 percent of hp when obtaining the mystical power effect so whenever your unit switches into that middle uh, slot um, it can uh, oh, it will uh, restore 50% HP, uh, which is uh, quite a big effect, especially in something like uh, Hell 3, where you're taking a lot of damage uh, a lot of the time. So um, that's the breakdown of the Elysian Slate. Now let's go ahead and put it into action. So now that we're at the gameplay section um, of the video, uh, I just wanted to show off the Elysian Synergy. So as you can see up here, we do have our five Elysians uh, and we do have uh, three Monarchs here just to uh, help keep the uh, the peace, so to speak. Now what I'm going to do, just show off the relics that I am current, or the artifacts that I am currently using. And we'll just add one more in. Um, might as well be damage reduction so as you can see mystical power effect strengthens each round increasing by two per stack uh, additionally uh, launches one strike when dealing a crit damage and uh, after triggering dodge will retaliate with a basic attack we've also got dodge rate crit rate attack damage boost damage reduction and attack as well so all focused on dealing as much attack as possible uh, to build up selene it's really the uh, the quintessential uh, unit within the Elysians, I think, uh, for this particular season. Now, let's have a look at the relics. So I've got the um, the chest, I've got the Blades of Chaos, and I have the um, Hand of Tear. Now, you can go ahead and take this one out, and you can add in Spear as well, uh, if you do have a copy. Um, it's just to get the, uh, the Blades of Chaos to trigger in that round one, uh, effectively. Um, the, I found the, uh, the double triggering of relics is a very powerful effect. Um, uh, that's given by the, um, uh, the passive here. So deploying a hero uh, of each different factions, or four different factions, and just has 40% chance to trigger relics the entire team two times, and it can only be triggered three times per round. So effectively, um, you get double trigger of all of your relics here. Uh, and because we've got um, different faction synergies within here, um, it should allow us to trigger. Uh, you can take out Talos and put in another Monarch, um, but this for me is the optimal team that I found uh, wins the majority of time. Now, um, let's go ahead and have a quick glance at the uh, the unit setup here we'll just see the Elysian synergy uh, with uh, in action so as you can see below Sal there is a an Elysian symbol that is the mystical fountain and as you can see there is now sort of a, a bluish um, seal below Sal uh, so when he does switch uh, he will um, retain that for three rounds and if we had it up to uh, a mythic slate you would retain that for 99 rounds so the entire fight a very powerful effect indeed um, so uh, the team setup i also have dahlia in there um, and the reason that i have dahlia in there uh, is because she does copy buffs and she's a really powerful and really effective tool within the elysian synergy itself um, because she is copying the buffs so let's just go ahead and have a look at sal so uh, well dahlia here she's copied those buffs uh, of dulhan and of herself uh, and it's max uh, hp increase so if we have a look down here the attack boost uh, attack boost holy shield will get copied as well heal rate will get copied some more shielding uh, attack boost as well so a very powerful effect within the elysian synergy as you can see we're doing a lot of chopping and changing here uh, not doing altogether too much damage right now but it is a very slow build up as you can see we're doing 100 million but it's not even scratching the surface uh, of these units as they are very powerful now Sal as you can see doing 114 million there and then we'll trigger his second one doing 155 building up um, quite a bit over the course of the match uh, and as you can see still able to take the damage thanks to the monarch synergy that is in place and um, we are as I said before copying all of the buffs 
um, thanks to Dahlia's uh, second uh, passive ability. Um, for me, that's a really, really big and impactful thing. Um, now, I think we should be good to go in this one. And the reason for that uh, is irrespective of the revitalize effect. Uh, it may be that I need to use a different team to get past Hell 45, uh, but uh, for me, this one here is a really, really impactful, uh, really, really uh, powerful synergy. And I think um, they have effectively nerfed it uh, by taking out the um, the swap between all rows. So in the previous um, iteration of this, uh, your say for example your Mavis uh, and your Talos on the front row could potentially switch with Sal, um, but it was it was super sporadic at the very start, and I, I, myself included, I don't think a lot of people really understood. Um, the actual Elysian synergy properly. And I do see it now, especially when uh, Wukong gets released, I think that that will be a very powerful lineup indeed uh, for the Elysian synergy. I think for now though, um, this will allow us to uh, progress uh, quite uh, far. Uh, and what I mean by that is the fact that the back row will consistently switch, uh, will be a much, much more uh, potent combination. Um, than switching with the front row as well because we're effectively guaranteed to get some of our units um, within this uh, Elysian slot here or within the Mystic Fountain slot um, the units that we do want so if you have a look at Sal's damage now it's gone up to 13 um, yeah so 9,000 million um, quite a bit more than the 100 uh, million that we're doing and as you can see the stacking really really does help especially with the copying of boosts so as you can see our relic energy is up to 500 now um, and the fact that the relic energy is up to 500 uh, just means that oh sorry it just means that we get those uh, those permanent stacks um, Now what I might do um, is just fast forward the video a little bit uh, and just let you enjoy it for a while. With um, Sal, uh, as you can see, his basic attack damage doing uh, 100 million. Um, it's really, really powerful, really, really good effect. Uh, I would very much like to, uh, I, I really like it. Uh, Sal is um, really my favorite character uh, from the entire, um, uh, just from, from the entire game uh, for me. It's really, really uh, encouraging to see that they are buffing him uh, within this synergy. So uh, let's see how much damage he's going to do here. Uh, yeah, uh, 775 million. Really, really powerful effect. Uh, as you can see, we got the majority of the health down. Um, and we're only up to round eight. So what we need to do realistically um, is to take out uh, as many of these uh, units as we can Merlin down we do lose a lot of the buffs that we have received um, because they do have two well technically three uh, celestial um, units on the team and they are healed back up to full uh, but I do expect Sal to start uh, putting out massive amounts of damage here uh, and being able to effectively close to one shot them uh, especially with the splash axe uh, splash axe dealing uh, the 100 percent of damage dealt uh, to the rest of the team there we should be able to uh, start to one shot them over the course of the next uh, couple of rounds here um, potentially we may we may lose um, and it might be because we were not able to, to kill them because of that revitalize effect but we'll just have to go ahead and see um,
yeah so as you can see dahlia here uh copying the majority of the buffs saldo in massive amounts with his basic uh attack that's why we put the um uh, the avengers uh rune or uh, the avengers artifact in there uh, which when dodged as you can see uh, when a dodge attacks we uh, respond with a basic attack um, even sells basic attacks at this point doing massive amounts of damage um, so let's just go ahead and see how much damage we get yeah so unfortunate no splash damage there um but he is doing a lot a lot of work and putting it all in so let's just uh, roll this out to finish off the video um, if you do like the video uh, please do um, <laughs> please do uh, if you have any comments if you think I'm missing anything uh, let me know down below um, and if you can subscribe to the channel we are trying to hit 500 subscribers so it would be really appreciated I just want to say thank you very much uh, for watching and I hope you have a great day.